we are going to solve for the root of f of x equals x cubed plus 5x squared plus 7x minus 20 closest to 0 using false position method. It has the same methods with bisection method. The only difference is the iterative formula. Here we are going to use x nu equals xp minus quantity f of xp times xp minus xn all over f of xp minus f of xn. From the previous example, we already solved for the initial values, which are 1 and 2. Our xn is 1 and our xp is 2. Since we have the same steps, we will also use the same columns. First is xn, then f of xn, and then xp, then f of xp, and x nu, then f of x nu. Our xn is 1. And our f of xn is x cubed plus 5. Oh. 5 times x squared plus 7 times x minus 20. Let's format that cell to 10 decimal places. And then our xp is 2. And then let's copy our function. Then from the formula, our xp will be, I'm sorry, our x nu will be xp minus quantity f of xp times xp minus xn over f of xp minus f of xn. Then let's change format. Then let's copy this. And since it is the same with bisection method, we will also use the if function. Our logical test will be if f of x2 is less than 0 or negative, we will use the new value of x. Otherwise, we will retain the value of xn from the previous iteration. And let's copy that one. Then for our xp, we will also use the if function. And that is if f of x nu is positive or greater than 0, we will use xp equal to x nu. Otherwise, that will be equal to the previous value of xp. And let's copy this one and this one. Let's format it to 10 decimal places. One, two. 10 decimal places also. And then let's drag this one until we find the value of f of x nu equal to 0. Here, we already got the value of f of 
x nu equal to 0 let's say here which means our x or our root is equal to 1.31005580046 here we can say that the solution of false position method is weaker than the solution of bisection method.